that Clive Bates used a wee, a wee while back and that is not to let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Now here's the thing, e-cigs as they stand are good, certainly second and third generation e-cigs with the kind of tanks and the kind of battery systems that we're using, you know the likes of, of these little things which is a an e-leaf eye stick and it's got a, an Aspire Nautilus Mini on it. This is good. It's probably not perfect. But it's definitely good. The problem that we face at the moment is that there are people out there who, for whatever reason, want to see perfect. And these tend to be people that are in public health. You see statements like, ideally, smokers would quit nicotine altogether. That would be perfect. The thing is though, there's an awful lot of smokers just do not want to quit nicotine altogether. And why should they? It's good enough that they would switch to a much safer alternative, in this case e -cigs. So a blind adherence, as the World Health Organization has, to total nicotine abstinence is actually the enemy of a much greater good, which, if we're to believe everything we're told, involves people switching to e-cigs and not necessarily becoming nicotine abstinent. That's quite difficult for a lot of people to understand but this whole goal of nicotine abstinence like alcohol abstinence like abstinence from anything is actually the enemy of a greater a much greater good. Again there have been many op-eds written on the subject of, well, what happens if everybody on the planet of adult age decides to take up e-cigs? Is it going to harm them? No. Not to any great degree. The fact of the matter is, on a population basis, if everybody used an e-cig, there would be a reduction in adverse health consequences as far as we're able to see at the moment that in a perfect world according to some people there'd be no nicotine use at all it's, it's not my perfect world but it's their perfect world and again in this situation they are letting perfect be the enemy of the good they're not going to achieve a global population that doesn't use nicotine, that doesn't use any drugs and frankly we know that the war on drugs has not worked and cannot work and will not work because in a situation like that aiming for the perfect world as they see it means that in the imperfect world there is a black market and in that black market the people who have control are by definition criminals and the fact of the matter is if you are prepared to operate in a criminal black market then there is very little likelihood that the uh, the best outcomes of health for your customers are what you are going to be uh, working on in fact the likelihood is that all you're going to want to do is make as much money as you can while you can and then get out before you get caught. And this is something that the World Health Organization, in actual fact, is 
by its insistence on the perfect, they're encouraging the creation of a black market, a black market that is run by criminals. And this is the problem with seeking to control and over-regulate so many devices. So, if you like, this is a plea to all of those in public health. Do not let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Accept that in ASIGs what you have is a system of devices that promise a great public health dividend. Embrace them. Promote them. Get them out there. Stop trying to legislate against them. For once, stop trying to make the perfect, as you see it, be the enemy of the good, as everybody else sees it. To do otherwise is criminal and will promote criminal behaviour. And if that's what you really want, if that's the road that you intend to go down, that makes you World Health Organization as bad as the criminals.